Hey there folks, Elder Law Care Attorney Patrick Kelleher coming to you live from my Elder Law Care Center. Folks, today's educational topic is asset titling is one of the most important areas in estate planning. Folks, I talk about it quite extensively in my book on Amazon, How to Avoid the Four-Headed Monster of Estate Planning in Elder Law. You can pick up a copy on Amazon, Patrick Kelleher, How to Avoid the Four-Headed Monster of Estate Planning in Elder Law. So folks, let's get right down to the educational subject matter of today's educational video that asset titling is one of the most important things in estate planning. From my experience or my observation, not enough of it's being done. Folks, we talk about a will is your admission ticket to probate court. A will, folks, does not avoid probate court. That's the first headed monster. A will, folks, is gonna end up in the probate court and your loved ones are gonna end up at a probate attorney's office with an ugly milk crate full of documents saying, hey, my mom and dad passed away or my spouse passed away. Can you probate the estate for the next year and a half, two years, or sometimes longer when there's complications involved and you're gonna pay by the hour, the hourly rate, whatever the probate attorney charges, pick a number, 300, 400, 500, maybe as much as $1,000 an hour in some of the big cities from what I understand. That can get very expensive very quickly. So that's probate court. It can cost as much as 5% in Massachusetts because there's no statutory cap on legal fees in Massachusetts. So a $1 million state, 5%, that's correct, 50 grand potentially because that meter's running the entire time the probate attorney working on the case because it's a lot of work. So folks, how do you avoid it? Asset titling. So happily married folks, Bill and Mary, typically will hold your assets jointly together. D to the home, Bill and Mary. Bill, you check out first. They say statistically, gentlemen, check out first. My dad did, my dear dad did what he's told. If you check out first, write a survivorship on that deed. The house goes to Mary, great news. No ugly milk crate, no probate court. But now you've been married 50 years, 60 years. Mary typically is not gonna be far behind. And then when she checks out a short time later, that's when everything ends up in the probate court. So big takeaway folks, any asset in your name individually, later in life, or if you're a single individual today, if you got hit by the proverbial bus of life tomorrow, all your stuff ended up in the ugly milk crate, in probate court, and your loved ones, typically we're gonna to have to hire a probate attorney and go through the probate process for a year and a half, two years, paying probate fees, okay? So, folks, asset titling, back to asset titling. When you hold them together like Bill and Mary did, whether it's the house or the bank account, all you're doing is delaying or deferring probate. Eventually, if the assets title in one person's name individually, your fears will end up in probate court during a time of disability or beyond. You know what beyond is, that's death, that's right. Everything will end up in the probate court. And a lot of my clients, they want to avoid probate court. So make sure you work with a qualified estate elder law attorney who's familiar with what I call trust funding, where they're gonna work with you to Number one, and step one of our proven, pr proven process is create your trust. That's the legal document, that's important. But step two, in my opinion, is of critical nature for the success of your estate plan. Step two is asset titling. Retitling your assets from your name as an individual to your name as a trustee of your trust. Get your house into your trust and your other assets. Always throw out a caveat caution on qualified retirement accounts like IRAs, 401ks, because they're particular, you have to work with a qualified attorney, CPA, to make sure it's done properly or financial advisor, because you don't want to be getting a big tax bill from the tax man if you do it incorrectly. So again, folks, all these videos are educational, but it's not intended for do-it-yourselfers. Work with a qualified professional who's experienced, who can walk you through that journey, so you too can avoid the four-headed monster of estate planning and elder law someday. Learn more folks at elderlawcare.com because you will learn a lot. Thanks for tuning in.